We are back on Taking Care of Business on Current Radio, News Talk 1180, 1230 KGEO, 1410 KERI, and now in Albuquerque, New Mexico at 1000 KKIM. Clay, I, I don't know, I mean, after talking to John Bolton and Shannon Grove, I mean, great show, but i got to tell you, I'm really, really ticked and irritated, and I don't know which I'm more irritated at, Washington, D.C. or Sacramento. I'm equally irritated at both of them. Yeah, well, let's let's start with D.C., okay? Uh, ben it's not Gazi. D.C. It's actually the leadership in D.C. that I'm yeah. a little irritated yeah. with. Yeah. Where was the president for five to eight hours the evening that people were calling for help to save their lives? Yeah, and, and I'll tell you what. I, I think had it been Bush and Rumsfeld or you know Reagan and his era, and I really believe it, uh, Clinton would have been there that night. But I, I can't imagine that, that uh, Obama was not there and, and, and Hillary Clinton was not there. You know, her famous, you know, who would you depend on at 3 in the morning? Well, here it is. You know, it's not even 3 in the morning and she's not there? No. Well, it, she, no. she referenced that to him. Right. And exactly. she was right on, wasn't she? She was right on with, with him, but what about her? But where he won't she? even admit where he was. He won't tell anybody where he was. He was asleep getting ready for a fundraiser the next morning in Vegas. You know, you know I mean, we, we saw Nomi Damish. Yes. At a meeting. And she had a theory on what took place. I'm not going to get into it now, but it really does make put Obama in a very bad light. Well, you know, I, I think, again, the question I had for Noni is, is this ideological? And it is. I mean, they don't they don't have the same feeling about our forces, about America that, that you and I would have or a President Bush or a President Reagan would have. So. It's, it's time we call things a terrorist attack. It is a terrorist attack. Yeah. Benghazi is yeah. an example. Fort Hood was an example. Yes. Boston is an example. Yes. And Obama keeps calling these non-terrorist attacks. Right, right. And, and and in my mind, I know this is going to sound controversial, but in my mind, Benghazi is much more important than Watergate was because in Watergate, nobody was killed. So they stole a few things. Big deal. Well, are, are there laws being violated here just like there were in, in uh, the case of Watergate? Yeah, definitely. I believe and, so. And that's not even looking at the AP story and the IRS story. Yeah, the IRS story is really bad. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're, they're keying on... Um, conservative groups mm-hmm. do you think there was a in any aspect of this led to the election of obama well and and where did these people at the irs come up with this did they come up with it on their own without being told by somebody somebody at the top had to make this recommendation well and you know and there and there were letters going from s- democratic senators to the irs saying you need to investigate these groups so so now we have people in congress some of of whom may have written some of these letters investigating who at the IRS is responsible for this? You know, people in Congress are, I don't know where they are. As an example, look what happened to, to Senator Weiner. Yes. And now he's running for mayor of New York. Yeah, and he's got a good chance of winning it. I mean, what what is with people? Don't yeah. they have any common sense? Is yeah. this the, the uninformed voters? Yeah. Now, one great thing on this AP story is that the media's totally upset about this, as they should be. Even the liberal media is getting upset because... You know, th- this is our basic freedom of speech rights to be able to have Eric Holder sign off on, on something saying, you know, the Washington column. No, Eric James- didn't sign off on that. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, he said he didn't. No, no, no. He admitted he, he testified signed- he didn't. No, no, no. He has signed off on the on uh, on the the subpoena, not subpoena, but being able to investigate James Rose in the Washington. No, I was, I was kidding. He didn't just sign off. He actually discussed it. Yeah, yeah. But he now, needs but to go, but he's a he's a sacrificial sacrificial lamb just to save Obama. One. Sure, but so here it is. He he signed off on this thing, and now Obama's telling him to investigate it. Pretty exciting, huh? <laughs> where's the, put where's the, the, put the wolf there? in the chicken coop, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay, so I want you to commit a crime, or you're going to commit a crime, and then I want you to investigate what happened. Have you ever heard Juan Williams talk about this on <laughs> Fox News? I did hear Juan on Fox, and, and well, he's really out there. Did, did you? Was that the interview with uh, Brent Bear? Was yeah. On? Brent Bear was really oh, getting irritated. Hot. You could tell. And I can't blame him. That was on Chris Wallace's uh, program. Yeah, it was interesting, and Juan stands by it. Yeah, and you know we've had Juan Williams on the show. In fact, I'm I'm thinking of trying to get him back just to see if he'll talk about this. I don't think he will. You know, you mentioned we had Juan on the show. We have had some tremendous guests on this show yes, over the last have. three and a half yeah, years. We've been fortunate. Anybody that's interested can go to youtubecom slash Marty Show, and you can pick up any of our shows. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for the last three and a half years, it was funny. I went through them just the other day looking for a particular show, and uh, and it saw some of the really fun ones we had early on, like Ray Charles. 
Yeah, Ray. Ray Charles. <laughs> right. No, Ray Stevens. Ray Charles was deceased. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we had Ray Stevens on, and he's he was a great, great show. Very conservative guy. Conservative so, and funny. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we've been very blessed. You know, I, I thought we had three presidential candidates on the show. We've actually had more like six presidential candidates on right. the show. So, yeah. So we, we've had we've had some really, really good guests. The only one that wouldn't come on was Obama. <laughs> To be honest with you, I don't think he was invited. Oh. <laughs> For some strange reason. <laughs> but anyways, this AP story, I think, is going to have a lot of a lot more legs to it. And I think Benghazi will, too, because actually all three of them will. Because, you know, you're looking at basic American rights here that are being violated by the very people that are supposed to be protecting them. There's something wrong with that system. Well, who's, who's supposed to be protecting us? Isn't the government supposed to be protecting us? Well, that's what it said in the, uh, what the Constitution. Constitution, wasn't it? yeah, yeah. But yeah. they're changing that. They're changing history. They're changing the Constitution. Sure. They're taking away ammunition. We can't use leaded ammunition anymore. Yeah. And they're then, taking away freedom of speech. Yes. Yes. I mean, it goes on and on and on. This is becoming a socialist Marxist organization. Yeah, more and more. Then you turn around and look at Sacramento, you know, and, and now you look well, at Sacramento's another, crazy. Well, okay, and and again, you know, we're going to be a little controversial here with this one, but. You know, if it if it smells like a duck and it quacks like a duck, the chances are a, it's a duck. Andy Vidic starts off with what fifty one percent of the vote, fifty one point eight, and now he ends up with forty forty nine point eight. So he ended up all of a sudden miraculously losing two percentage points. Yeah, he's eighty seven votes shy of getting the Senate. And and where did these votes come from? You know what? I don't know where they came from. I, I it wasn't from a trunk of a car, but what it was, I think, votes that or were mail ins that weren't counted supposedly. So, in other words, but okay. it's interesting that just about all of them go to the Democrats. Yeah, yeah, it's funny. In every election, not just this one, in every election, every time that uh, comes up, and if it doesn't go to the Democrats, then a lawsuit's filed, or a recount is demanded. Mm-hmm. You know, it's leaving party politics out of this. It's you know, there's an integrity issue here. If if we don't have the integrity of the vote, then there's no difference between us and a banana republic. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's important for us to have that integrity, regardless of who wins. I mean, nobody's going to be happy with the outcome of every election. But there's got to be a certain amount of integrity that, that we can count on in this country to determine that the will of the people is what is being honored. Well, Shannon talked a little bit about uh, poll watchers, basically. Yeah, we've actually had those people on from uh, Election Integrity Project. Right. We had them on before the last election. Right. But... Uh, you know, we we should have more people like that out there because the Democrats... We shouldn't have to have anybody like that out there. But it's human nature. It's human nature. It's unfortunate. Yeah, it it's is unfortunate. unfortunate. And, it, and it's something we're going to have to, you know, be, be more and more observant of in the future because, you know, for one guy to be declared the winner, then all of a sudden he loses two percentage points within a week. Okay, come on. Come on. Let's, let's, let's be real here. So what about locally? What are we going to do? Uh, we're going to have some local guests on, and uh, we've got some great shows coming up in the next couple of weeks. Like I say, Phyllis Schlafly is going to be on, uh, KT McFarland, and then we're going to have some lo- local issues we're going to deal with, too, in the next couple of weeks. We've got some really high-power pastors that may be coming on, too, I understand. Yes, we do. That's it for now. We will see you in 167 hours on t- Taking Care of Business on Current Radio News Talk 1180.